Yeah, so I want to make this video short. <clears throat> I want to be talking about not meeting Holly and Popper. Sorry. Um. Anyway, Docko was right. Docko was was right about the whole um, shadow animatronics were are just a metaphor. Um, there are a little bit of holes in this the in his theory, but um. There is a lot of truth. So, I recently watched his new video replaying um, FNAF 6. I noticed something. At the end of the Fruity Maze game, um, who shows up? William. Alright, now listen to me. Listen to me. Spring Bonnie shows up, right? And the last thing he says is, follow me. Follow me. Who says, who else says follow me? Um, who else says follow me? Um, let's see, the one animatronic that says it is, um, let's see, Shadow Freddy. Shadow Freddy. A shadow animatronic says the exact same thing as William. Literally anything. You could they could have said he could have said like <clears throat> he the, he could have just not said follow me. But he said follow me. And also it's weird that it was in like blue text. I think it was in blue text. I can't remember. I don't know, man. Now, there's like a hole in this theory. Why, if if he did wear those suits to, I think Daco said at one point, um, to murder kids, then why aren't we seeing any reports of two other dead bodies? Why are we just now hearing... Or why are we only hearing about the five children? Like, you would think that they would have mentioned something about two murders in the in FNAF 1. I don't know, man. It's a little bit weird. Um, I like doing these mini theory things. I want to do one about Funtime Foxy. Um, because I'm heated. There's a community post by... Impulse Evan, I think his name is. And there was just... People were just ripping each other apart. I mainly did, um... Like, engaging in the whole fight. Because I genuinely believe Funtime Foxy's a girl. Despite her voice. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna tell you that in a different video. That's a topic for a different day. See you guys later. Peace.